Welcome to this Informatica demo. My name is John Lira, and I am going to demo the SIF API. Technically, the long name is the Informatica Master Data Management Multi-Domain Edition Services Integration Framework, which I will just call SIF. It is a way that you can use the API to real time through either message queues or through uh, various other protocols be able to get data from the hub or uh, send data or retrieve data from the hub. So this is an intro to what you need. Also a small example on configuring JMS uh, queues. So you have to have MDM already installed. So this assumes that you have MD installed. In my case, I'm using, I'm using JBoss and Oracle. I have a fully operational ORS, operational store, in which I have my data model. And we will be using the Eclipse for Java development and SOAP UI for the web services that we're going to be creating. So number one, this assumes that everything's fully installed. And let me just quickly go to my C drive. And again, without going into all the details, there's a great book that you can read what I was, that I will show you towards the end. But essentially where you have JBoss install under server default deploy messaging, there's two key files. The destination, which has your connection factory defined, uh, and that has to be uh, correctly defined. Excuse me. The one that I have is the destination, which you will define your queues that we will be using in the MDM hub. So that has to be there. The other file that I want to show you that you got to have is the connection factory. So that's the one that you also have to have the connection factory properly configured. So these two are JBoss config configuration files that you have to configure. Maybe you know how to do that or maybe your, your JBoss administrator can do that for you. So once that's configured, I bring up the hub and let me just show you how the procedures in general, I've already done this, so I'm going to walk you through it. Number one, log into your hub. I'm going to log in as admin, admin. And for those of you that are interest, interested in a full-blown demo and how we actually cover all this, feel free to take the Informatica SIF training class. It's a very technical class, but you learn quite a bit. So here goes my hub. First thing I want to do is go to... Well, first of all, notice that I already have a fully operational RIS. And so this is working. I have the party data model that I have implemented. Now what I want to do is have the ability to integrate message queues to this. So number one, you go to message queues under the configuration workshop. And you go ahead and configure. You get a write lock. Now I've already done this, so I will just play along and pretend that I'm going to create a new one. So first thing, you add a message queue server. And when you do that, notice the connection factory. This is why I check the XML file in JBoss to make sure that the names agree. In my case, I call that connection factory. And it agrees with what's configured in JBoss. So first, you do that. And then once you have that, you will add the queue that you want to send messages. So add a message queue. Notice that I have already defined one call uh, QA. If I define one call QB, of course, I would have to make sure that that's also configured in the uh, destination file. And, and notice at this point that you can test it. This is going to should fail. There it is. QB is failing. Why? Because I have not configured it in the XML file. And just to refresh your memory of that file, remember that that's under the destination uh, files. Again, feel free to open that. And this is where you would put your queues. Notice that I have QA defined, but not QB. And that's why it's failing. Let me go back to the hub. And so that's how you would do this. Now I'm going to delete this one since, ah, before I delete it, notice that once you create it, uh, you can say, leave it on a sign, use it with message triggers, which is what we're going to do because we want the hub to report the events to the external. Uh, in other words, send it to the queue and let other people read this, which I'm, go I'm also going to show you. So notice QB, embed a message queue, connection factory. And then normally you would say uh, use with message triggers. But this is only a test, so I will delete that one. And I'll just show you message queue that's already fully defined. 
Notice message QA, which I just showed you, is in the destination XML file, embedded, etc. So that's step one. Step two is go to your schema. And in this case, we're using MDM sample. And I go to the party data model. And notice here, we have message trigger setup. And again, I will get a write lock and show you this. Let me get a write lock. Otherwise, you cannot modify things. And the first thing you do is go ahead and set up your message triggers. Now, I have already done this already. So uh, for those of you that know how to use the hub console, you know that you get a write lock and then you can say add or delete a message triggers and you will give it a name. I'm just going to call it XYZ for right now just so that I can walk you through the process. The package, which package are you going to use? This is important. Prior to me to be able to use triggers, I've got to understand queries and packages. So I've already developed a package already called package party labs put. It is a, it is a package on top of a query and this is a secure package so that externally I can see, I, I can communicate with it. Again, the Informatica's hub configuration class shows you how to create packages, etc. So you would select it and then you go to next and then notice the queue that you're trying to uh, connect to and then the specific events. Anytime we add data, anytime we add pending records, so you'll select the events that you want to monitor and report and on the right hand side which system is generating those. Well, the admin, the Salesforce, the product, the Informatica data director, triggering and message. So you would configure this and that would be what you do. Now I'm showing you one that's already been configured here. Here is a party message trigger on the right hand side. You see that's the name I, I gave it. It is using the package party labs put. It is using me message QA that I have predefined. And these are the events that I'm interested from the source system and I'm going to trigger on, a, on these columns. Anytime something is changes on these columns, it will report against that. So that is number two. By the way, let me go back to the message queues. I got to make sure that you understand that once you create a queue, you can test it. Notice, succeeded. Earlier, when I was testing message B, it failed. But I just want to make sure you gradually configure and test as you go along. Now we need one more step. So we've done message queues, we've gone to the schema, set up the triggers, and now we go to the SIF manager. And this is very important. Under utility SIF managers, for your ORS, you have two kinds of communication that you could configure. The SIF API or the uh, Java messaging, which is what we're discussing right now. Other demos will talk about the SIF. Right now we're just configuring messages that will be sent out and intercepted by uh, a client application that I'll show you. So what is the logical name? MDM sample. And notice this is the schema URL that we have to type in. So server name, port number, CMX, and then the MDM sample. So you just got to know that you type that. And here is the important thing. Let me get a write lock because remember we cannot ed edit. And which all the only thing you have to do is say generate and deploy specific or a schema. So JMS uh, generate and deploy the or specific. So this is going to create all the necessary uh, classes that we need for this. And once you do that, it might take you five minutes. It might take you 12 minutes. Just be very patient. I have already done this. And notice what, notice the note here at the bottom. This tool generates and deploys a code to support the JMS event message objects and schema for the packages and remote packages specific to this ORS. The logical name is used to name the common components of the development. So again, I'll let you read that on your own, but it, we do have to click on generate and deploy at least once. Anytime we have changes in the package, anytime there's changes in the queues, we have to regenerate this. Now, I, didn't, I did not spend time on packages, but you got to be aware that you've got to create a query and a package just because that's what we're using. Now, that's it for the hub. At this moment, I will minimize the hub. Now, remember, don't forget that you've got to configure those, uh, the destination services file so it works congruently, i.e. that the queues are defined. And at this moment, we want to test this out. And 
first thing I want to do, we're going to use the Eclipse development. So I bring up the Eclipse development. Notice these are things that you have to download and install prior to us using them as well as the SOAP UI. You go to their respective websites and you download them. In our training classes we use Eclipse and I already have a package called SIF Training JMS and I already have the package that I want to test out. So if, if you see this, this is the uh, Java code that's going to handle all this. So this is programmed already. Get the message trigger response and again you can just uh, review this. Again you should know Java by now and notice I have usage John Lira Java so just the print line that will put out something meaningful. So it's a skeleton that's all you need. You basically take this and you work with this. Now I want to test this. Now let me see if it all works. Don't forget that this is Eclipse so you should know how to use Eclipse. You, you do have to consider that let me look at the bill. Again, take a tutorial on, on Eclipse, but notice the bill path has to be correctly configured. And uh, you just got to know how to do this. And what the libraries that you need is the uh, JBoss, where are you? This is, don't forget, you need that one. So you got to add it to the bill path. And now what I'm going to do is go ahead. Oh, one more thing. I was going to run it, but don't forget that you got to configure the argument to uh, the Q argument that we want. So under arguments we are listening on QA. So we got to configure that and now we are ready to run this and run as a Java oops run as a Java application and assuming I don't have any errors you can ignore you can ignore the error that says log4j. There's a it's a warning. I haven't done something correctly for the debug logging. Log4j a whole separate demo in itself is how do we configure logging. So notice it's, re it's waiting to listen on message queue. And now let me go to the hub. I'm going to go to data manager. I, what I'm trying to do is change a record. I can either use Informatica data manager or IDD. I'm going to use data manager. And again in the configuration hub class you learn how to do all this. In the SIF class you assume that you know this so I'm going to look at the party based object and I am using the package party labs and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look at some customers and I'm going to look on the right hand side that one that says let's see here's here is Violet Rodriguez I'm going to edit Violet Rodriguez I'm going to give Violet a middle name of XXX and a gender code of female and as soon as I click that Let's see if the queue is receiving this. I go to JBoss and here it is. This is a message from the hub and notice uh, if I scroll all the way down I will see you can read this in great detail. There goes the package everything that's going on and somewhere in here you're going to see Violet and the record that was returned. Again if you can't see this you might you might want to copy this and let me just copy this. Oops. What I want to copy this is, let me just copy this and I'm going to put it just in a notepad. Okay, I'm going to open up a new file and I'm going to, let's see, I'm just going to, uh, all I want to do is open it up so we can see that but I don't, let me just bring up anything else here, notepad++. plus plus. Okay, and a new file so you can see it, but it did work. And again, I wish I can do word wrap, but let me just show you. Okay, again, the based object, and what I'm trying to show you is towards the end. And notice over here, there goes Rodriguez, there goes the middle name that I set, and of course, you know what follows next the gender. Here is gender female. Okay, so the message was received. Now let me just say no and go back to the Eclipse software. And here it is. So that, that's, what, uh, that's, that's what did it. So this application here is a simple JMS client application that's waiting for listening to the message queue. So anything that the hub modifies now that we have configured 
is being received by this sample client application. And that concludes this demo. I want to leave here with showing you a great document that I think you should download from the Informatica website, and that is the Services Integration SIF Guide. That is a great book, and that concludes our demo. Thank you.